Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's say you're on a budget and you have a very limited card pool of just the two player starter sets that you got to build a deck out of because you felt like getting like four boxes of these. So let's just say you got that. So you got all the cards in the starter set. You got your fancy schmancy shiny Machamp. Ooh. Which is incredibly common, despite saying first edition. <laughs> the the non-first edition one is actually worth a ton more. <laughs> the damage counters that come with it. Machop, you've got your one for twenty low kicks, always nice to see. Two copies of Machoke in this as well. It's got the karate chop dealio going on there, three for fifty, but you know, reduces depending on your HP and stuff like that. Diglett, eh, very low HP. 2 for 30, but 1 for 10. Got Rattata. Rattata's been a proven contender. 1 for 20. Dratini, eh, 1 for 10. And then you think we got, we can do better for that. <laughs> we got your potions. You heal up your critters. <sighs> <sighs> It's in here. The fabled energy removal. One copy. <laughs> Pokedex. To check your top five cards, your range of how you like. 14 fighting energy cards. Now for the fire deck. Your Charmanders. You're the base set variety. One or a discard 30 for two. And the Charmeleon. Oh geez, I'm getting glare. Oh geez, I'm getting glare. <laughs> Uh, Charmeleon, yeah, you know this version of Charmeleon, our only choice, basically. Ponyta is, eh, 40 HP, but it has 2 for 30 without any sort of discard dealios, unlike the Charmander, so it's, it's kind of an option. 2 for 20, but 60 HP Growlithe, eh, <laughs> considerable, maybe. To Switch, always nice to see. Bill, yes. Gust of Wind, yes. Energy Retrieval, oh yeah, that'll help with the fire discards. And 14 fire energy cards to boot. So that is our card pool. <laughs> so let's see what we got here in the true start deck here. 11-11 for each of these, because uh, even though that it's more balanced towards the fighting side of things, I figured that because of the fire discards, it would be more worthy to do so. So I got four Charmander, three Charmeleon, four Machop, two Machoke, two Ma I mean three Machoke, two Machamp, four Rattata for the beatdown properties, and that's it for the critters. Four energy removal, of course. Two energy retrieval, two potion, two gust of wind, two switch, two Pokedex, and four bill. Basically, I wanted to put all the trainer cards in there because. I figured that would be a pretty fun idea, and they're all pretty useful in their own way. I don't have Professor Oak, so Pokedex is gonna have to do to some extent, so... <laughs> and that is the true start deck. Back to the usual recording setup, alright, so... As you may have guessed, the inspiration came from not only this game's starter deck, but also the starter deck that a lot of people started with in the day. And so you just notice that we got the regular challenge hall here. I got one set up and ready to go. Why is that? Well, I beat it nine more times, I mean, excuse me, eight more times off camera for a total of nine. And when we beat it the tenth time, we'll be able to get a coin for it, so... Uh, ooh, surfing Pikachu, sure, sure. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with our true start deck. <laughs> This Challenge Cup is well in the way of the ever champion soon! Presently, Andrew is a contender to beat. Everyone here should recognize this new challenger. It's the Pokemon Guard Master Mint! Are you both ready? Place your four prize cards first. Now then, start the competition! Stylish Fossil Deck, the guy who gave me fits <laughs> <laughs> when Mike didn't really have a well-established deck early in the game. Here we go. Um, at least I think this one- yeah, I think this one's the guy. Alright, so, who should we lead with? Probably the Charmander, because we know he's gonna be using fighting. And let's go, baby. Let's see if we can win this Challenge Cup with a mere couple of starter sets. <laughs> Leer could be a little bit of a factor, but we shall see. Nah, he's at zero bench Pokemon, by the way. Oh, and uh, I should also mention, I was thinking about 
showing you the new cards that I got in this part, but I decided, no, 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 I'm not, I'm actually, actually, I should probably hold off on that until I get all the cards in the game off camera, and then I could just go over the whole list all at once, basically. So I figured that would be the, the, the smoother way to go about doing things. And I'm gonna plop that on there. I just want to get the uh, attack power of the Charmander going here. Yeah, I don't really... I don't have my energy removal just yet, yeah, but at least I got four copies of it, Ember. <laughs> and we shall see how this Rhyhorn is able to handle our Mander. Well, I handle it pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the double colorless energy kind of accelerated things a little bit there. I'll put out Machop next for its 2 for 20. Bill, very nice. I will accept this. Machop, fire. Um, I don't know when I should use the energy retrieval. Like, I don't know what, what I want to discard for that. So maybe I'll just hold off and low kick the Rhyhorn. Maybe we can just outright beat him before... He gets a basic Pokemon on the bench. Oh, it's a Kangaskhan, too! <laughs> of course, the Kangaskhans. Uh, but it'll take a while for him to power that. Wait, uh, two basic. And the Ry Rhyhorn, too. Oh, wait, how did you... Oh, because of the knockout. That's right, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was gonna say, how did he get two cards? I don't remember him playing Bill or something like that. Um, I think I'll go for the Machoke on the side. So I'll put this on there for now, and just finish off the Rhyhorn as is, and then what'll happen is, when this Machop gets knocked out, I'll put a fresh Machoke in there and it'll be able to Karate Chop in full. I'll even use the uh, Energy Retrieval, if need be, to get things going. Uh, another Fighting Energy, and... I wonder if I should just evolve it now. <laughs> Maybe, because it'll have more HP and I've already got it mostly powered up anyway. Alright, low kick. He might be able to knock out Machop next turn, but if he does, I'm just putting up, putting out Machoke and wiping out the Rhyhorn anyway, so... Oh, yep, he's going for it. That's fine by me. <laughs> I'm just using starter set cards after all. So surely I couldn't win such a game, could I? Could I? Well, let's find out. Karate Chop. First, <laughs> knock out the Rhyhorn here. And now we got a fresh Machop, as a, I mean a Macho going here, so that could very well be game over. Especially since I'm gonna one-hit KO the Snorlax. Bill, hello there. Uh, Rattata and another Bill. I could, that's what I could use for the uh, energy retrieval, is to uh, discard a Rattata, since I already got one in play anyway. Uh, let's see here. I think for now I'm just gonna yeah, Karate Chop. Because everything seems to be pretty good, and I don't wanna... I mean, I don't know how I want to distribute the energy as of right now, so, ooh, potion will be nice. I included the potions, not only for the whole idea of putting all the trainer cards that I could in the deck, but also for Machoke's Karate Chop, because, yeah, 50 damage minus 10 for each damage counter, so I could potentially use that to repower it up if uh, Machoke is having some difficulties. But guess what? We win! <laughs> Hey, one duelist is down, two more to go. I should probably save between said duels because I don't expect this deck to last... I, I, I should say I don't expect this deck to, let, to win three games straight, but I could be wrong. <laughs> These aren't very familiar cards for me. Alright, let's give it... Oops, I'm gonna go, let's give it a diary. Save a game. Yep, see I'm at uh, 444 out of 445. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> with the cards there. Yeah, I've been, I've been working pretty hard, anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, modifier change, no, we saved. Spark Voltage deck, let's go! See what his Zappy Zaps can do. Maybe not that much against my fightings, but we shall see. Uh, probably should leave with the mo- oh, Wait, wait, no, 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 I don't have fighting, ooh. Uh, then I- I guess I'll do Rattata. Because I can, I might be able to get Charmeleon going. We'll see. And uh, let's go. By the way, and you'll notice that I put more energy cards in this deck than I usually do. Two more, to be precise, namely because of the uh, uh, lack of draw power. So I kind of needed to weigh in the, the cards in my deck a little bit differently than I typically would. Anyway, I'm definitely going to be attacking with that Rattata to see if I can wipe out the Magnemite. I mean, it might just decide to explode and wipe out the Magnemite anyway, but. 
well, at least, I mean, it wipe out itself anyway, so... But, you know, I'm just gonna go for the bites in the meantime. And if it doesn't explode, I'm just gonna potion Rattata until I'm able to, uh... Uh, get it going, basically. Uh, yeah, let's bite! So, since I went... Oh, he doesn't have many bench on his, uh, side either. Oh, he can't explode! He can't explode, so he needs heads! Oh, no! <laughs> so, uh... I win. <laughs> Sorry, guy. <laughs> well, that was, uh... Quite unfortunate, but we have a six prize card duel coming up for the finale. I don't know who it's gonna be, but we shall see! Six prize card bout is... Oh, it's... <laughs> GR number four! Yeah, I forgot to mention, you can't actually get GR members in the challenge cups. Ah, uh, yes, I would like to change. Not so much change as, I mean, do my diary. And... no. Alright. Six prize cards, GR number four deck. We're back! <laughs> so, she does indeed redon her persona, I guess you could say, every so often. Ooh, that's iffy. I mean, I have energy removal, but I only have one basic Pokémon. Uh, that bill might help, but hopefully we'll be able to get something, because I'm only running 12 basic Pokémon. Four Charmander, four Machop, four Rattata. Uh, okay, I got a Rattata, but I'm definitely gonna go... Wait, wait, actually, here's, here's a combo here. If you use Bill, I mean, if you, yeah, if you use Bill before you use Pokedex, you won't be able to choose what you pick. But if you use Pokedex first and then Bill, you can choose the next card, next two cards you'll pick. So let's see what we got here. Potion, Energy Removal. So we can basically change the order of things how we see fit here. I'm gonna go Energy Removal Bill, because then I can draw into another, another series of cards, and it'll go Potion, Fighting Energy, Fire. Yes. And then we play Bill. Oh, I got yeah, I got two Bills anyway. But energy removal, Bill. Oh, who would have guessed that? So we get the other Bill. <laughs> Potion, fighting, and the last card plus one after that fire, another fire. All right, so we are pretty chock full, I would say, <laughs> in terms of our setup here. So let's go and energy removal that Mew, and give it a little scratch. Literal scratch damage to the Mew. And Psyduck on to the bench. Psywave to start doing the damages, kinda. I mean, the, yeah, the Psywave, see, it's times the number of energy cards attached to the defending Pokemon, so it wouldn't have worked on Charmander until I did that. This is kind of a, a part advantage of Fire Pokemon here, because what you can do is dish out a bunch of damage with them, and then with the discard, yeah, it reduces their psychic attack thusly, and mm-hmm, uh-huh. <laughs> that's, that's, it's kind of a situational thing, though, but it is something to consider if you're playing fire versus psychic, because usually there's, there's some sort of, I, I guess you could say, chain requirements with energy or damage counters or something like that. So yeah, um, when it comes to damage counters, you might actually be able to get more benefit having grass Pokemon because, you know, their absorption properties and stuff like that, you know, the re recover stuff, but anyway. Uh, let's put the other Rattata in play. I don't know if I want a Potion Charmander. I don't think it's really threatened by anything in particular. Because I just get the Rattata powered up and finish off this Mew. Since I'm done talking strategy, and <laughs> Psyduck is up next. Psychic Energy, draw a card, sure, sure, go ahead, if you'd like. Oh, Machoke. If I can get a Machop, I don't have Pokemon Trainers, so. <laughs> but I could potentially get one. I also used a lot of my bills, so uh, I might, might still get one down the road, but who knows? I should probably try and put the pressure on that Psyduck because it's a water type. So I'm gonna Ember that. And call it a turn. Because, you know, she won't be able to knock me out outright with the Psyduck even if she gives it a water because... Yeah, it's double damage, but it's only 10 double damage, so then I could just potion that if need be. And there's my last bill! <laughs> Machoke, fire... Uh, well, I could energy retrieval 
crafted by discarding one of the Machokes and giving myself those fire back. Put, put that on there. Uh, that Krabby could be a bit of an issue when it comes out, because, yeah, if you double colorless is a thing. But we'll see. For now, we just Ember to finish off the Psyduck. That's the best I could do with my starter deck set up here. <laughs> Alright, there's the Krabby. It'll definitely bubble, I know that. Uh, but we'll get paralysis. Ooh, I got paralysis. Um, notice something about the starter set cards that they don't really have status conditions because of the whole. Uh, they, they keep it kind of simple in that way so that people can get the hang of the game and, and whatnot. So they, they kind of keep that stuff out of that until you expand more into the more advanced stuff and, and the like. Um. Anyway, I should probably now... Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm tempted to just gust of wind into the other Mew, because the, <laughs> the Mew is probably the least threatening of anything that he's got right now. It's, I mean, she's got right now, I don't know why I said he when I know full well. Uh... Hmm... I don't know... Maybe I should? Uh, just in such a weird spot, because I'm not used to having such unstructured decks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold off. Just see how things go with this Krabby. I don't know what energy she has. So, okay, she's got a water. Oh, well, I don't... Hmm. Ooh, that could be... Ooh. <laughs> that didn't work out, but that could be ooh indeed. Alright, I'll put that on there. I'm gonna try and do as much damage to that Kingler as possible. Because that salt water could uh, kind of wipe me out pretty quickly. If it if it actually managed to get the full-on guillotine going there. Yes! Alright, we are still in decent shape. Ooh, I got Charmeleon. Um, that makes me want to play it. Just uh, So I think I'm gonna do that. And instead of attacking, I should probably just evolve it for the sake of extra HP. And yeah, because next turn, you know, she's not really going to be able to wipe me out with Kingler unless she's energy removal my uh, Charmeleon and, and the like. But in that case, I'm going to gust the wind. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to just end off my turn here. And hopefully, wait, why wouldn't you just go for the salt water and then? Put the water energy on something else. I hope you get heads, actually. Oh, I was gonna say, I hope you, hope she gets heads, because then I can force her to discard the fire energy in the future. Uh, but okay. Let's see here. Any any other threats? I mean, there's, yeah, there's a Krabby, but... Yeah, I think we're actually good now. Because we got our strong beater out on the side here. And... Krabby, number two. Yeah, he's looking for that double damage. Oh, man! Uh, well... Paralysis is the thing, oh... If she manages to, Oh, I should actually switch. If she manages to pull that off, I'll lose my Charmeleon, so I probably should switch. Go to Rattata. I don't mind losing the Rattata in comparison. Uh, I get Charmeleon set up. And bite! She might actually be against adding another energy on Krabby, even if it means a knockout now, because... Yeah, she will not be able to pull off the Charmeleon knockout as planned, so... Uh, we'll see. I don't know what she has planned. Oh, she is going for the guillotine. Kind of big whoop at this point. <laughs> yes, we had one prize card, but I've, I've been taking prize cards like mad here. Uh, so yeah, the Drowsy is the only thing that has energy left. So I guess I could just go for a Charmeleon sweep, you know, with energy retrieval and... Flamethrower, Slash, etc, etc, whatever I need at the given time. I just put that extra one on Charmeleon in expectations for any possible... Yeah, energy removal, yeah! <laughs> just in case. And uh, you just, just never know if that sort of thing is on, in hand. You always gotta assume the opponent has energy removal. Um... I think... I should use the energy retrieval now. I will flop out probably the other Charmeleon. Fire, fire. 
fire. <laughs> and probably should potion that, just to make sure. And then we flamethrower. Ha ha ha! So next turn I should, in theory, win? And then I should get the coinage? Possibly? Maybe? Could be? Oh, you know, I probably should have switched coins. But, eh, I don't know, I just... I didn't really give Snorlax coin all that all that long of a time, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a lot of energy arm charm really now, so that's why I did so much damage, but it doesn't really much matter now, does it? Because I potioned, <laughs> I got flamethrower, I win the game, that's how things roll. <laughs> Woo, congratulations, we follow tournament winner. I'm surprised this works so well. Bad luck to you, number four. And... Surfing Pikachu card! Woo! Not the one with the mountains in the background and stuff like that, just the cloudiness. Now, there we go. Wow, man, isn't this your 10th Challenge Cup victory? It commemorates your 10th win? You get a special coin. Woo! Pretty fitting for the starter deck if you think about it, because that four pony toss. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, only three more coins to go. Congratulations for being the winner of 10 Total Challenge Cups. Well done, man. Take this Ponyta coin. Uh, didn't you just kind of mention that a, 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 a bit ago? Maybe. Maybe? Anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I wasn't using the Snorlax coin. I was using the, the Mew coin. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Well, well. Wait, didn't I use the Snorlax before? I thought, thought I did. I should probably switch over to Togepi then. I mean, you didn't see Snorlax if you get the colorless peeps anyway, but yeah, we only got three more coins left to go here. Uh, we are in pretty good shape. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we head over to the GR Challenge Hall. Because this is another coin you can get over there for 10 wins, and I did 8 wins off camera already, so yup.